Hey everyone, welcome back to the Ellie Noir walkthrough. This is a different kind of war walkthrough. I'm going to show you how to get 100% completion. This is the final case of the main story. So we're going to get several achievements through here. Magpie is the big one. Uh, so I thank you for sticking through this walkthrough and uh, checking out these videos. And thank everybody who liked and subscribed and commented. And I hope you'll do the same for this video. The first place we're going to show up to is the Rapid Exterminators. Walk up, talk to the person behind the desk, and then be sure that you pick up the newspaper before you leave. As soon as you're done with that, head on over to the Nuclear Bug and Rodent Control. Same thing with that. Walk inside, go talk to the person behind the desk, and then move over to the Westlake Pest Control. After you're done there, you'll be taken to a new location. You'll follow your partner into this room. Uh, right beside the body you'll find a crystal ball which will give you your first clue. Then directly over to the right side uh, from where you walk through the doorway there's going to be a folder. Go ahead and open that up. Be sure to interact with the pages that are here. Uh, tap on the first page and then just flip it and be sure you scroll down and click on Sawyer which is highlighted already for you. And then there's going to be another page that you can uh, check out if you want to. Next, head back into the room that you came from. You'll find a case over next to the wall. Pick that up. You're going to find some morphine. Be sure that you investigate it in order to get the clue off of it. On the body, the only thing you'll find is a lighter in one of the hands. and You can interact with that and flame it up. After you're done with the body, go ahead over to where the desk is and He'll say a few things, eventually you'll pull out some chalk and start drawing around. After you're done drawing the picture, go ahead and click on the newspaper that's to the right of it. He'll move it over and you'll see that it pieces together to make a puzzle which will give you a new clue. Now if you want to, you can go ahead for giggles and pull up the other paper and put it in there. I guess I could have done that backwards, but um, before you leave, go over to where the newspaper is on the corner of the desk. This is going to be your final newspaper. Then you're going to be taken to this location. As soon as you walk into the door, check out on the right hand side of the table, you're going to find a flamethrower. After you're done there, you can go ahead and move into the kitchen, which will be the first door on your right. And there's going to be a pressure valve sitting there that you can pick up and examine, although you don't get a clue for it. Next, go ahead and enter the origami room. Walk over to where the candles are and pick up one of the cranes and that will give you a clue. Directly to the left of that is a blue map that you'll need to uh, pick out and examine. And then to the right on the wall will be a set of pictures that you also need to check out. Then you're going to be taken to a chase scene. Now this chase scene is fairly easy. Just stay as close as you can to the lead car which is white on your map. Uh, don't try to destroy it. Just keep off the red blips that are on your map. Try to keep them from getting as close to that lead vehicle. Next you're going to be down in the sewers. Uh, be sure that you move to the A2 area. It'll be the first tunnel on your left as you're uh, going down fighting off enemies. And there'll be a lot of enemies down here. Eventually you'll come to a part where you'll jump in the, uh, the water. And uh, most of this is all pretty straightforward. You'll see a guy coming down the ladder. That's the ladder you need to go up. If you get to the top of the ladder, take a right, you'll find this stock room where you can go get a different gun. Then otherwise, keep on going straight. Eventually you'll come to another room that's got ammo and you can also pick up a flamethrower in here. After you leave, you'll come to this room that's filling up with water. You have to move fast or else the water will kill you. Um, move through these uh, barriers right here to help you uh, stay steady. Move to that ladder to the right over there in the opposite side of the room. You'll go up to the steps and uh, just turn a left, turn left, and uh, the first door on your left or the first tunnel is the final destination. And after that, you've got your moth to a flame achievement and uh, you're done with L.A. Noir the story. We've still got plenty more to do as far as achievements go, so I'll also be making some videos to help you out with that. Uh, but thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and walkthrough. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Also be sure to check out the links in the description box for the Battle Strats LA Noir Strategy Guide. Thanks for watching.